Hey guys, watch this for tomorrow. We got Momo here. Um, these guys just had a uh, earnings after hours, and it just ripped. This is the after hours charts. I'll just be watching it tomorrow, see if uh, I can get a trade out of it. Um, right now it looks like it wants to break down after hours, but 1550 is lying in the sand here. So if it ever bounces or forms a cup, it, I can take it and, and try and sell around 1660s. And then uh, hopefully above 17. For the rest, with a 1550 stop risking about 25 cents but then again you know uh, tomorrow free market is gonna be trading so I'll just react to it based on what it's doing at the moment other one is A10 just on watch for continuation broke out nicely today on the daily is a daily chart I traded this one today I bought it 568 and sold it 599 that was a nice trade there I'm thinking it has room for 640 650s on the weekly you can see this is the this is the top of this candle here 659 so it might come up and face that you know uh, test that resistance good volume so I'll be watching it next one is <coughs> late they had APS too after hours another one that could run I'm looking at anything above 12 it's already trading at 11 after hours so anything near 12 and above 12 I'll be selling if I get it around 11 um, again guys this, this is just uh, these are just the way I plan the trade I don't I don't I don't trade all five of them I just have it and written down and and ready to to trade like I have watch uh, I have five stocks in the watch list but I'll probably just trade one or two and then scan after after 10 a.m. I'll start scanning see if I can find any other trades I usually don't take more than four or five trades a day so anyway yeah see try and get it here this is the after hours chart to get it on the flag stop at 1080 10 20 cent risk for potential more than 50 cents on the upside on lake the other one is GIGA with news after hours too 10 million contract and earnings another one that could go to three I'll be watching it ready to take action it's already forming a wedge nah, not really kind of an ascending triangle just leave this out yeah try and get it again to uh, 260s 270s maybe I wouldn't chase it past 280 and try and sell at three the Momo number a lot of chasers gonna be hitting that tree so you wanna be selling above three and then potentially um, lottos for like 314 maybe this is a high here back in September again we don't know if it's gonna go there but um, as long as, as, as I take a trade here at 265 or so and, and set a stop around 252 maybe or even even better 250.
67, 58, and try and let it run. If I buy it around here, it'll be stopping out around here. And then, then again, you, you're risking about 10 to 15 cents for the potential of 30 cents, maybe even more. So that's it for GIGA. <coughs> And then LTVR, I took this one today too, after it based for a while here. I thought it was going to hit VWAP, but it didn't. Would have stopped at 188, I bought at 197. And then scaled out 209 and ended up hitting the bit at 211. When I saw that it couldn't, couldn't just, couldn't break the VWAP. And then it faded the afternoon I took a trade on bio to BICO BIOC sorry I chased that one and sold for a loss chased it a bit here I thought it was gonna run it never did so I, I sold for a, for a loss like nine cent loss overall my day was was good I made three profitable trades and one that I lost in this one. Made four trades. And that's it guys. Um thanks. You have a good evening.